Honeybees have a gland called a nasonoff gland, and it's at the very last segment of their tail, and they can crack their tail, and you'll see a little white tuft of fur. That's their nasonoff gland. And the pheromone that they're releasing, the scent that it releases, is a homing scent. It's saying to the bees that are in the air, on, on the ground, if there's confusion and the bees don't know where to go, they're telling them, come here, this is home, and home is where the queen is. So they won't do the nasonoff gland if they don't have the queen there. So if you're collecting a swarm and you've just shaken a swarm into a box, and of course when you shake, bees will go up into the air, there might even be some on the ground. If the queen is in the box you shook them into, the bees will then do the nasonoff gland scent, and the bees on the ground and in the air will then come to the box and go inside. And you can see one photo I have here where the bees are marching up a board that I've laid down. They're marching up the board to go into a hive that I've set up for them because bees are on the landing there doing the nasonoff scent saying, this is where home is. Come on, everybody, gather here. Now, oscillating to fan the hive is a totally different body position and you'll notice that when the bees are oscillating their wings, their bums are tucked downward and they're they're kind of hunched in their body and almost leaning forward a little bit while they're oscillating their wings to pull air, hot air out of the hive or if they're on the, the open frames of nectar and they're trying to dry up and dehydrate the nectar they'll be oscillating their wings as well. So beekeepers should know the difference between these two positions. Tail up is nasonoff gland, and you'll often see that white tuft of fur. And then if they're oscillating, their bodies will be crunched with their tails down.